Welcome back to Squaltastic. Apparently, I'm gonna die. Here we go. Place the Sheikah Slate into the pedestal. Maybe. Do you think it actually talks to him? Oh, I don't know. He could be reading instructions. He's like squinting at it like, did you just talk to me? I guess. He mm. just kind of calmly watches it. Whoa! The whole thing glowed! <laughs> Sheikah Tower activated. Maybe it talks like Microsoft Sam. Mm hmm. Please warn for falling rocks. <laughs> This does seem dangerous. It's dangerous to go alone, create a tower. <laughs> he just falls over. Well, I guess I'll just lay here. Guess I'll die. die. Can we get the guess I'll die guy? Yeah. There he is, mm. right next to that squirrel. <laughs> Boyd. These guys. Yeah, I've defeated one of them done. so far. Oh! Ah, happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> For you uh, Americans, well, I guess like this will be uploaded way after Thanksgiving. Yeah, probably. But happy Thanksgiving nonetheless. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. For those of you who celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. And happy other holidays. Whatever you celebrate. And happy whatever does not offend you. All Thank right. You. My arm is going through the club. Of Just course. normal stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe they didn't expect you to have a club by now. You're ahead of the curb. Well, the first model that I saw in the Temple of Time had a club. Well, there you go. Oh, it's going to drip all over my new iPhone! Mm. Quick, get some rice! Ah, uh, it took so long. You didn't do anything. You were just like, I was, oh no, it might drip on me. I was trying to remember where the uh, rice is kept. <laughs> da -na -na, da -na -na. Ooh, I should go off that waterfall. Yeah, you can't. Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> um, just that it restricts where you can go at the beginning of the game. Remember. Like Mufasa forms Try. in the clouds. <laughs> remember me, son. Try to remember. Well, I mean, I don't think that Zelda really sounds like Mufasa. She could. <laughs> she has kind of a soft... Alright, so Weird it's confirmed that Link's been asleep for a hundred years. And this thing that's swirling around the castle it's is a gonna hundred year destroy old. the world if he doesn't act. So. He looks so happy. Like, I, I kind of want to just go over there and cuddle it. <laughs> Ganon's like, this is the best! Woo! Everybody's invited to my party! <laughs> Look, I got the black lights up. You must hurry, Link, before <laughs> it's too late. Yeah, I gotta get to the party before it's too late. <laughs> before it's too late. Before it's too late. All right, whoa. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to move the camera so much right I gotta now. get that stupid artifact. Okay, fine. <laughs> Bam. Bam. I remember having to be Bam. so careful my first time going down here. Yeah. Yeah, now it's just like, whatevs, man. Is that just because you got used to the controls? Yeah, like I remember it took a long time for me to get used to X being jump and Y being sword, because <laughs> it's like, it's different from every single Zelda. Yeah. And, and all of them, B is sword. This is the only one that isn't. Another thing that's really confusing is the drop versus throw mechanic. So when you're holding something, I would often like accidentally throw it instead of putting it down or vice versa. Did you do happen to recognize this mysterious voice? Ellipse. It seems I have some work to do as far as earning your trust goes. I suppose that is understandable. Wait, you could hear the voice too, old man? I assume <coughs> you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. Yeah, I want to go there. Looks awesome. Yeah, it looks like a really good that party. That is Calamity Party. <laughs> 100 years ago, that party started. Wow. And I was not invited. Oh, well, don't feel bad, bro. I bet if they knew you, they'd invite you. The party suddenly destroyed everything. <laughs> <laughs> so many innocent lives were enamored in its awesomeness. So... People who were born at the party would probably not still be alive, like, if oh. they were born on the night that the party started, so... 
Damn. All the people who started the party probably aren't there. I mean, assuming that they have human lifespans, I guess they're Hylians and whatever else, so... That's, that's grim. I must <laughs> ask you, courageous one, do you intend on going to that party? I do. That's Link's voice. I do. Well, damn, I wish you would have freaking invited me. God. I had a feeling you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. That's convenient. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Why can't you just climb down? <laughs> of course, if you had a paraglider... Like mine, it'd be quite another story. What's a paraglider? Oh! <laughs> it piqued your interest, have I? He is such a definition of, like, an old man keeping you a captive audience, like, forcing you into conversation because there's literally nowhere for you to go. Or like, And there's nothing better for him to do with his time right now. Like, so. <laughs> I guess I'll talk to this old man. I want to show you something. All right, well, hurry up. I want to show you something, old man. <laughs> <laughs> He's so big. Yeah. He needs to be. Like, Link isn't a little boy, and they're the same species or whatever, right? I so, I assume. Maybe he's like a male Gerudo. Mm. You know, they're super rare and stuff. One is born every hundred years, they <laughs> That's say. That's true. I hadn't really thought about that. I guess there isn't really... Do you see that gorillas? structure there? The one with the strange light? The Halloween looking one. Oh uh, yeah, that <laughs> one there? <laughs> uh, the only one that's It began glowing. glowing at the exact moment. Those <laughs> towers rose up from the ground. I would think such a place might have some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Yeah, well I'm not a treasure hunter, I'm trying to save the world. Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Yeah, I guess you just want the world to die. Guess so. Some men just want to watch the world burn. That's the wrong game. Oh, you can't. You're can't. you not going to outswim the the frog. But fish is good. Fish. You dived after the frog, right? Maybe. Oh, okay. I saw something moving. I couldn't tell what it was. There was a frog. Wow. But you got some fish, so that's dope. Yeah, bridge is broke. Link is broke. He doesn't have any rupees. Rupees? What are rupees? Their currency. Wow. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. You oh. have to use a form of currency. You've never played the Zelda game. That's why you definitely wanted to watch us play this one. Ancient Gears. So, uh, for anyone who hasn't played the game or doesn't really know Woo. what's going on, those Woo. machines when they're dead, uh, you can search them for parts, and then the parts are useful later on, which is why Neil's taking the time to do that. We didn't really do that on our first playthrough. <laughs> um, I was really afraid of the Guardians. <laughs> like, they just really, really creeped me out. I think because they're kind of spider-like, and they just kept killing us. Hey, look, there's like, oh, a weird man. treasure oh. box. Oh man, oh, that's my favorite shrine. Ooh, this is a DLC box. Alright, well, let's see what we got. A ruby. A ruby. Oh, uh, cool, okay. thanks. Yeah. Great. Rubies are good, too. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much build up to that, and it's just like, oh, whatever, man. Well, I know there's some cool stuff in the DLC boxes, but that was just a ruby. Ruby gloom. Ruby gloom. Shout out to anybody who watched that crazy show. I don't think I ever watched it, but I'm aware well, of it. Well, I know that you were kind of, like, against the idea, because it, it's sort of built on uh, a gimmick. Like, uh, it, Ruby Gloom was designed to sell product, and not really much else. Uh, I don't know if that's why I was against it. I think just, like, what I had seen of it didn't interest me, and I yeah. knew that people... I, th I thought it was, like, a children's show for Treehouse Network, but... <laughs> It was airing on YTV fairly late in the day, so I'm not sure. I do think it was aimed at people who were, like, into... Like, Lolita goth? Uh, yeah, or, like, yeah, emo goth. Here's a picture of Ruby of... Gloom, just just in case. It's kind of like a goth, emo, Powerpuff Girl. I'm Oh Man Oh! Oh Man Oh! Magnesis Trial. 
All right, time to download me some Magnesis. I Get wish me some apps. I wish that in real life you could just download an app to be able to <laughs> move giant metal things. Just have like enormous magnetic control. I'm sure this would make a lot of lives easier and more dangerous. Well, you'd probably just destroy your phone. Probably. Right? Like magnets aren't to the best things to have around. Electronics. I wonder what charges my thing. Like, does it just goop. feed off of me? That drippy goop. Ah. It'll last you like a hundred years, so 100. you're good. Hundred hours. <laughs> click, 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 click. Select room for yeah, okay. Okie dokie. We know what's up. We know, we know, we know. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a. So I'm kind of curious. Do people prefer watching people go into a game completely blind, like not knowing any of the controls or anything? Or do people prefer if people know what's up and they can just keep moving? I'm sure it depends on the viewer. Yeah. Uh, I find sometimes when I've watched stuff and I know more about the game than the person playing it and they get stuck on something, it can be really frustrating to just feel like, oh, it's so simple. Like, you just need to do this one thing and then you just watch them like completely not even think about it like over and over again. Or so. if they fail at doing it the wrong way several times. Yeah, they just keep doing it the wrong way and they think they know what they're supposed to do and you're like, no, you just want to like tell them like, <laughs> just do this thing and it's so easy and like you can tell they're getting frustrated. Uh, I think because I'm a pretty experienced gamer, I prefer when people know what they're doing because then I can learn from people mm. who, you know... Yeah. So we didn't really talk about the power that you just got, though. Magnesis. We can move metal around. So, just like you saw, you highlight things and then you can move them if they're magnetic. Yeah. There were so many times on our first playthrough that I wished things were magnetic so I could move them. It makes for good uh, close combat. Mmm, yeah. Yeah, that was a really good uh, tip. I think, did we... I think we discovered it online. We were trying to figure out a way to get past these certain enemies, and they were like, oh, use this metal box, and then just smash them. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> didn't think of that. There, I like that about this game, that there's kind of different... Um, there are a lot of different ways you can approach a problem and, and get past it. In the shrines, not so much. They kind of usually have a gimmick, like... Well, especially the first ones, because they're trying to teach you how to use these runes yeah. that you have from here... And forever. So <laughs> it it's looked important. really weirded out by that. Yeah, I figured I should let it play through at least the first time. Yeah, the spirit orb went into his chest and he kind of looked around like, was that supposed to happen? What just happened? Yeah. And the sky dissolves. It'd be cool Aww. if you turn into like butterflies or something weird. I Yeah, I actually feel kind of bad for the, the shrine guys. Like, I don't know what they're called, but... The monks. He referred to himself as a monk. Oh, okay, the monks. I feel bad for the monks because they obviously are mummified, yeah. so they're dead, and they're just... But obviously their spirits are still there because they're talking to you and whatever. It makes me wonder how long they've What's been all? in the shrines. <laughs> yeah. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb, but well done. How do you know? Clairvoyance! Oh! -ho! Or perhaps just something similar. What if you had just left? <laughs> Without getting it. <laughs> or I die inside the shrine. Yeah, really. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what's right before one's own eyes. What? However, oh, you that took which once, turn. <laughs> once hidden from our view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that's not true for everyone. Maybe oh, you're oh, just fucking wasting oh, our time. Give us the paraglider or go away, old man. <laughs> the appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. I'm going to go jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> this is all connected to the Chica slate you carry on yeah, your Yeah, because I'm the hero, baby. Would you still call me Superman? Yeah. It's been quite some time since I've seen that Chica slate. That oh, one yeah? In particular. That, that one in particular. Eh? Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Chica inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago. Or so it is said. 
It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. And yet you've seen one before, so how old are you, asshole? <clears throat> These shrines <laughs> are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. You think? Mm -hmm. Only three? Mm -hmm. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I'll give you my paraglider. I need more. So I need more now? I said treasure, but I never said there would only be one treasure. Oh, you certainly implied it. Yeah, you asshole. Whether it be one treasure or four, what's the difference for a young go-getter like yourself? Well, I'm trying to save the world. You're kind of holding me up. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey just, uh, the area by go looking online. from a high point. Find a map. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> <laughs> How about you make your way to the top of that shrine again? Got it. I admire your eagerness, but allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, and the shrine you came from, and the tower. Okay. Okay. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah slate. Cool, teleportation. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Oh, yeah, that's believable. Good little add-on there. I totally believe that you're not sure if that works. All right, mm -hmm. next time on Scrolltastic, we're going to dig up some treasures. Yeah.